Alright guys, how's it going? This is FIFA Beetle and welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we are reviewing Gerard de la Fou. Right here, you can see the man, the left mid from, I don't know, Udinese, I think is the team. Uh, but anyways, if you guys aren't subscribed, I like to do reviews in either Foot Champs or Division 1, or sometimes in both. But today, let's get to it. We got de la Fail. So he's a 4-star, four 4-star, four star, beautiful work rates, high, low, left mid, look at his freaking record. 12 goals in 20 oh no 12 games 22 goals two assists what more could you ask for for this guy his objectives were not hard either you just had to play with a 77 rated team and uh the friendlies and just do a couple objectives like score finesses and do through balls with the sierra Ott players not hard at all this guy is well worth it so now that we got some of his, uh, I guess, stats that he's had for me and uh, his work rates, now let's look at his actual in-game stats, I guess. I have him with a hot card because I already seen he had 95 acceleration, 93 pace, or sprint speed, uh, which is just fine with a hot card. I wanted to give him Hunter, but his attacking positioning is just fine already. This man has a... Uh, he's a really good. Uh, he could he could play striker. I played him as striker, cam, and then uh, left uh, mid, and I recommend him on the on the on as wide as you could get the man because uh, he, he likes to make those runs in behind the line and at striker he is actually solid too he's not bad he has a tagging position of 85 depending what you use him with a hawk it goes up by five finishing goes up by five so right there 87 it'll go 89 oh no 90 88 and uh, shot power right there you can see it's a 10 plus boost his curve is what's really nice right here. His curve is like 93 or something. I can't even see. What does that say? 98. And uh, it's it's solid. Nice finesse shots from this guy. His long shots are, are just fine outside of the box with a finesse. is beautiful. This man has nice agility. Great positioning. I've noticed he likes to keep himself. Always trying to poke past the, the defender. Always trying to make that run in behind. So look out for him in that aspect. Highly recommend him with a hawk, and if you want to try him and go all out, go with the hunter. If not, go ahead and find something else that uh, you do, uh, or that you usually use, and what you think is best for the man. Right here on screen, you can see some of his traits. It's a flare he has. Nice, likes to do little trick shots, back heels if you're holding the left, uh, left trigger or L2 on PlayStation. Long shot taker, he has that trait, so with that finesse uh, combined with it, with his 90-something finesse that he had, Beautiful technical dribbler. He's gonna you're gonna have so much fun with this guy, especially if you know your skill moves. I don't know how to do any skill moves. I try, but god damn it, horrible. But if you're a skiller, natural skiller, oh my gosh, you're gonna have so much fun with this guy. I'm telling you, he is deadly. He is fast. He is scary, man. There you go. Look at his traits right there. Now let's get into some gameplay in uh foot champs. I got to play with him. Not in division one yet, but foot champs is just fine. So here we go. Remember, if you're not subscribed, to please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I'm gonna try to do as much uh, giveaways as I can uh, when possible. Right now, it's the holidays, so it's kind of hard to do giveaways. I wanted to do every 100 subs, but with the uh, you know current situations, uh, it's kind of hard to do that. Waste money when you don't make so much money. But anyways, we are here to talk about De La Fu, De La Fail, however you want to pronounce his name, Spanish or English. I don't know how you're gonna say it. But this guy's last name is unique, as unique as his card. And this man, you're going to have so much fun playing with him, especially, like I said, if you're a skiller. He's going to be a solid skiller for you. It, it really, He has really good dribbling on the ball. Uh, I think I'm going to show some right here. We got Gomez making a play inside. We got Delafu. And then, boom, doing some little trickery. More trickery. He's, he's so agile. His finishing is beautiful with his... His finesse is very beautiful with his curve being like, a, what was it, 93 or something like that. His positioning is something I've noticed a lot. I've tried him in every position possible pretty much that uh, I guess would be, uh, I guess, how you say, uh, like reasonable, I guess, as an attacker. I've used him as uh, out wide on the left mid, left wing, and then I've tried him as central cam. Attacking uh, so that attacking midfielder and then I put him up uh, up top as striker to see how he does and he's succeeded in each part But I, I as cam as central attacking midfielder. I mean he is gonna be solid He's gonna make those run run ins when you're holding the ball just fine, but I feel like it's kind of uh, better to have him on the width because he drags a he drags the the left back, what is it, the right back marking him out wider depending what side you have him on. He, dra he drags the wide backs very wide and it brings in space 
helps you make in runs down the middle with your striker. He, he's really, I don't know, he's just, he's been really, uh, really great player. He, he likes to drag in those players running behind. He always holds his run as much as possible. He's pretty aggressive with trying to poke behind the line. So you're going to see him a couple times kind of like faint towards like, uh, give me the ball, send me on a run, I'm ready to go. Right here we got uh, Vidal, look at him, he's making that run, keeping himself onside with that uh, angled run. And now it's just him and the keeper and he doesn't really miss. He has a really great finishing and it's been solid, especially, com uh, what is it, packed with his uh, his curlers. His curving is just, uh, it's like, damn, I can't believe they gave away this player in an SBC that was so easy where you just had to go into drop-ins. Right here you can see some of his crazy dribbling agility uh, that just did not go in right here look at him where is he i think i have him at striker right here no that's gomez i think i put him as cam yeah look it so there he is his cam movement so i mean he's gonna make in those runs uh from the middle up top behind the striker and he does them just fine right there he found a how they say a palomita in spanish a little diving header Right here we got Delafu playing striker as you can see i have um correa as attacking midfielder Boom, a little, uh, I think a mistake happens right here. Yup, here it is, but he's just so fast, they're not going to catch him. Gomez is dead, but Delafu's dead. I put a little bit of body up in this guy. I remember he has curving. Boom. Goalie's not going to stop that, at least not that time. He's got the Pogba celebration I kept doing over and over. Didn't really know what other celebration to do, I guess. Here we go, ah, we got Gomez diving right there. And I just wanted to show you how his penalties are, and uh, his penalties aren't bad. They're not all crazy. Uh, just fine. I think they're around in like the 80s or something, mid-80s. Not bad penalty kick taker. Right here we have Delete making a good tackle. We got Vidal. We got Gomez finding Immobile. Immobile is dragged out stupid wide. Doing a couple skill moves, finding the man, great positioning, kept his run, Delafu with the goal. From left mid, and he took over the striking. Uh, he's seen that Immobile uh, went up top. He went to go take his spot, take out that empty space. Right here we got a through ball that wasn't so well done by Gomez. Adama Traor playing right wing back uh, with this man right here. We got Delafu putting the pressure. We got our team playing up high. No constant pressure, just high. we're just up high depth like at 9. The Lafu gets in there with his pace and agility and scores a beautiful finesse right uh, bottom corner right there during the Pogba celebration. And then what do we got coming up in this clip? Look at how strong this man is. He bought his Triore. Boom! Drops his ass. Get down on the floor. And that's pretty much, I guess, uh, all I could say about this guy. I highly recommend him. Uh, we got Lozano right here. Uh, but yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Uh, it, it, it means a lot too, you know, I get to do all these reviews. If you guys have anybody you recommend, just uh, put them in there and uh, down in the comments and I would love to review them. I like to test stupid players out, silly players that people don't usually use without further or do. Oh, what the hell am I saying? Anyways, this has been FIFA Beetle. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay Gucci, not Gucci. Peace out.